How's it going? This is Taylor from Beartooth, and you're watching Ramzai. Yes, hello. So, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, the tour's nearly over. How's it been? It's been great, man. I mean, uh, crowds have been crazy. It's been nice to play to like a lot of new people that we normally wouldn't play to. You know, people come to see we are the crowd in Don Broco. Um, we've shared a bus with Barry tomorrow, and we were like friends with them before the tour, so it's just, it's been great. Epic adventure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, what's, been, what's been the best? Sorry, what has been the best bit so far from the tour? Uh, for me personally, going to Ireland, like every we constantly get messages on our Facebook and stuff like, "Hey, when are you guys gonna come to Ireland?" Ireland and Australia, the two where it's like constantly, like, "Come play a show here." So it was really cool we had to play a show in Dublin. Fair enough. Um, random one, but how did the group form? Uh, just, I mean, we are friends. Um, Brandon and I worked with Caleb's old band. And when he left, uh, we just kind of weren't doing anything. So, so hooked up yeah, we got together, reason. started jamming. Like originally, it wasn't going to be anything too serious, but then it kind of just blew up. So we went with it. Fair enough. All right. Done a bit of research, and it says you've uh, you've done a recent tour with Pierce the Bell and Sleeper and Sirens. Yeah. How how did that feel? Because yeah, as um, calling to, was it your second main main tour? Oh, no, no, I mean, yeah. we'd, we'd done quite a few tours before that, but uh, it was like the first, like, really big tour that we did that wasn't Warped Tour. Where, like, we were definitely playing for, like, three or four thousand people a night. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so, so, after your first album, is it disgusting yet? Yeah. Um, any word on any more singles from it? Or are you jumping straight into another album? Uh, some stuff, I mean, some writing's already taken place. Uh, for the new record, but not gonna put anything out for a while. We still got quite a bit of touring left to do on Disgusting. And then uh, we shot a music video a while ago for one of the songs that hasn't been released yet. Probably won't get released until like summertime, you know? But other than that, I can't really say much. Fair enough. Uh, continuing from Disgusting, um, are there any more? Oh, sorry, hold on. Uh, what made you choose the single, Lines? Oh, I mean, uh, after we did Beaten and Lips, that was just like the one that was originally the one that we all wanted to go with as a band for the first single, but they had us put Beaten and Lips out and they were like, trust, like the guys at the label were just like, trust us, let's go with this for the first one. And they were right because it was huge, you know? Um, but then when it came to do a second single, The Lines was like, we got to do a really fun video for it. We got to like, you know, it's just a great song. It's one of our favorite songs to play. So. Yeah, I was going to say as well, obviously. It's a tough choice. I have had a good listen. Obviously, it is fantastic. And yeah. And obviously, to choose obviously for a single, it's like you know, it would be very, very tough. But I said, you know, fantastic choice. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, are there any hints of any, any upcoming tours? Um, nothing. That there's gonna be a lot of stuff like that we're announcing soon, but we can't say anything about it yet. But we're gonna be really busy. We'll definitely be coming back this way. You know, doing some tours in the states too. So. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, okay, another random one. Um, how did the band get the name? Uh, actually, our original bass player, it was the name of the street that he grew up on. Yeah, Beartooth Court. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, okay. okay, it is, it is a big one for you. Yeah. Big question. Um, who inspired you to perform? Me personally, um, I'm a huge fan of Metallica. James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, great guitar players. Um, more contemporary people like Andy from Every Time I Die, great dude, great guitar player. Um, big fan of Newfound Glory. Those are honestly like my personal like biggest influences. So. I mean, have you been have you been since you were a child uh, singing or performing? Oh no, I mean I started playing guitar when I was like 12, <laughs> so. Yeah, kind of, but not like early childhood, no, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's all the questions I got for now for you. Oh, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah.